a long-awaited return and a healing milestone for First Nations people. The remains of a Yaru man from Roebuck Bay returned from the Smithsonian Natural History Museum in Washington, D.C., where they'd been held for 130 years. It was an emotional journey. Um, at the same time, you know, it's, it's rewarding, justifiable, you see. A ceremonial welcome on Wadjuk country. And they took the bones away. It's like taking the children away. Now we have proof of the violence of that time and we can explain how they were removed. This repatriation follows the return of Yaru ancestral remains from Germany in 2019, but many more ancestors are still held overseas. We are honoured to have the trust placed in us and recognise that we can look after the ancestor in Perth. All Yaru ancestors are held here at the WA Museum Collection Centre. The community want to bring them home, but there are no appropriate holding places in Broome. We have our traditional way of putting them back in country, but we have a lot of people, influx and movement through the country with four-wheel drives and motorbikes and ripping up the earth and, and exposing all the remains. The community plan to establish a final resting place next to the Broome Cemetery. Grace Burmis, ABC News.